bisexuality isn't that common among people. It's really not, because usually when people label you as bisexual, they label you as gay. And when you're bisexual, you don't really like just one. Of course, you may prefer one over the other, but it's generally not like you like one and then not the other one, because then that would mean you are gay or lesbian. This is coming from a bisexual's opinion, because yes, I am bisexual. I do like the best of both worlds. I prefer, I like, I mean, I like guys and I do like girls. I find them both attractive. No, I'm not going to walk down the street saying yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. Because, I mean, honestly, everyone else does that too, but... People think that bisexuals don't really exist. I mean, they do. Because you can like both men and women at the same time. Also, I'm not going to walk around the street with a, a rainbow flag. And I'm not going to walk around parading saying gay pride, gay pride, this, that, this, that. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to go to one of those gay pride functions. Maybe I will go to one, but I'm not going to go to a regular thing. I'm not going to dress up in drag. I'm just going to be my normal self. Because honestly, people think that when you're bisexual or when you're even close to a gay, or if you, if you can find one remarkable feeling about a guy, you think, oh no, everyone's gay this, gay that, and you will flip out and the whole world turns against you. But honestly, no, it's not like that. I... A lot of my, I've told some of my friends that I'm bi already, and I hang around straight guys, and I, I just act my, like myself, and they all respect me, and they still like me. I mean, honestly, I may act, some people say I'm a little fan, but some people can see the gay on me, or whatever. Yeah, I, I grew up, I have all girl cousins, they forced me to listen to Spice Girls, Destiny's Child, TLC, all that old school stuff. I watched Powerpuff Girls, I watched Sleeping Beauty a thousand times, I mean, I hung around some girls in first grade, of course, the environment stuff is going to have effect on, there's no such thing as the gay gene, I think, it's just honestly, it's the environment also takes a role on some stuff, but I also, after first grade I grew, I hung out with guys and girls, so I, that fixed, fixed me, I guess you'd say a little bit, even though being bi or gay, there's nothing wrong with that, but, um, Dang it, what was I going to say? Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but... I think of being bisexual as a gift, rather than I'm stuck, and I have to find, I have to find a middle ground, because honestly... Like, when you're bi, you, you get the best of both worlds. Some people think that bisexuals are greedy, but honestly, I think of it as a gift because you can like both male or female. So if you're having a tough time with a male, you can go for a female. Or if you're having a tough time with a female, you can go for a male. Honestly, I think I was a somewhat gayer kid put in a, a straight guy's body because I have a lot of conflicts with myself. Like, I have this whole straight, I must get with a girl because I'm thinking a girl, getting with a girl is awesome. Like, I have this this one-track mind of a girl is, I must get a girl. And then part of my heart says that. But then also part of my heart and a little bit of my dick says, oh, go for a guy, go for a guy. It's easy. You can do this. Do that. Try something new. But it's like, honestly, I really haven't even gotten a full, full-on relationship with either guy or girl. So I haven't fully experimented with both, so I wouldn't really know which one I want to try or which one I like more than the other one. To fully say that, oh, I want to commit myself to this or commit myself to that. I'm kind of at war with myself right now. <clears throat> but honestly, I'll find, solve the problem later. And before you go off judging someone by just their sexuality or something like that, by saying, oh, you're bi, you're straight up gay, this, blah, 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 blah. Honestly... I'm an Eagle Scout of the Boy Scouts of America. I went through Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and the whole thing. I went camping and done stuff, gun, done stuff, been more places than you've ever been. I was with the marching band. I've been up and down the state. I've been to Hawaii with them. I was a section leader with the band. I directed kids of all high school ages, dealing with all the high school drama and stuff like that. I worked at Cub Day Camp for five years of my life from when I was 13, no, 
uh, when did I start working? From when I want to say I worked there from when I was 11 to 16 years old, having that kind of responsibility. I've been through the death of a grandparent, the death of a very close friend of mine, and the death of a dog. And I've been through a divorce. My family's a mess. Not really, but like, I've been through a lot. And I've accomplished a lot. So before you go off judging me for what, just for one thing, look at yourself, honestly. What have you done? And yeah, I'm not making this video just to boast about anything. I'm just saying. I needed to come out and tell people, yes, I'm bisexual. I'm still the same old me. I've been the same me for 18 going on years now. I'm, nothing's changed, really. I've still been the same old me. And honestly, if you're going to judge me by that, then it's like either you need to stay out of my life or, like, really, it's... Of course people are going to judge, people are going to think this and think that. Oh, did he find me attractive? Does he like me? Does he like me that? Or, oh, well, well, then why was he crushing on this girl? Well, honestly, when you're bisexual, you crush on guys and girls. You find both guys and girls attractive. Yes, there is a middle ground. And, yeah, that's all I pretty much have to say about that. Um, yeah, just need to get it off my chest. So, bye. Mm. Sexual? <laughs>